Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I got chapter 3 of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for you. So, I accidentally, last time I, I played, I did chapter 2, and when I finished it, I believe I clicked through a couple things from the beginning of chapter 3. But pretty much what it said was, um, after chapter 2, a uh, quick recap, um, I gained 10 points for Gryffindor. But then I also, in potions, Snape took 10 points away. So I believe right now I'm going to the Gryffindor common room. And I, I think uh, somebody uh, higher up here than me is going to argue with me. Or It says report to Angelica. So we will see. Okay, so I'm back at the common room. Looks very nice. All right. <clears throat> You already lost Gryffindor, 10 house points. We're in fourth place now, what happened? Yeah, yeah, I know, I feel bad. All right, looks like we got a task. Is it gonna let me hit the task? Oh, I had to press my player, okay, rank. Your points, rank, oh. Here's where you can keep track of the race for the house cup, okay. At the end of each year, the house cup, or the house with the most house points, gets the house cup. Okay. Here's Gryffindor. You're in fourth place. Yeah, we're not doing so well. <clears throat> okay. First place award gets 100 gems. Ooh. Earn house points to help your house win the house cup at the end of the year. Okay. So not let me click anything. Maybe I click back, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so it looks like I do have... Um, said I had more stuff in here. Oh, it's just in general, okay. So, let's go back and I'll click. I'm sorry, but who are you and why are you talking to me about the house points? I'm your prefect, Angelica Cole. Okay, so Angelica is my prefect. It's a prefect's job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Oh, considering what your brother did to Gryffindor's reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. Oh, uh, it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. I'm not my brother. Hmm. Well, it is true. I'm not my brother. Uh, it, it was my fault. The potion thing was my fault, but Snape's really hard on me. So I don't know what I want to go with here. So yeah, I, I'm not going to say it wasn't my fault, because it was. I could say I'm sorry, or I'm not my brother. If I say I'm not my brother, that's coming off kind of mean. I'm just going to apologize. I don't know what happened. But I never wanted to hurt Gryffindor's chances of winning the House Cup. I believe you, Mr. J. I would talk to Snape if... if <clears throat> sorry. I would talk to Snape if I thought it would be... If it would do any good. Wow, I can't speak today. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to your common room. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Probably because he despises you. Well, he despises everybody in Gryffindor. Snape hates ev oh, I told you. Snape hates everyone. So I wouldn't take it personally. But I would read that letter immediately. Gaming. I have discovered evidence that your potion may have indeed been tampered with. Oh. Well, it does not prove your innocence. It does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Good. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potions storeroom, and I will consider restoring your house points. Snape. There are directions to the potions storeroom at the bottom of the letter. Want me to go with you, Mr. J? It's the least I can do after you save me from Merla. Uh, yeah, I'd like a friend. <clears throat> Thanks, Rowan. You know your way around the castle much better than me. He's offering to give us back ten house points you lost? Hurry to the potions storeroom before he changes his mind. 
Okay. So I reported to her. Go and help Snape and get those house points back for us. Well, I'm going to go. <coughs> I just want to read all these because we're in the East Towers. Defensive against the Dark Arts Classroom. Nations Class. Astronomy Tower. Astronomy Classroom. Charms Classroom. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go back here. The directions on Snape's letter say, This is the Potion Storeroom. I always thought it was located in the Tapestry Corridor. I suppose there must be more than one. I need you to find a jar of pickled slugs and bring them to Snape so I can get those 10 house points back. I can't see a thing. Why did you close the door, Rowan? Make a point. I didn't. It closed behind me as soon as I stepped inside. And I, th I think it's locked. You should cast the wand lighting charm to help us see. Oh, yeah. Lumos. Did I do it? Lumos. I did it. Okay, now we can see in here. Is this what I think it is? What is that thing? A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some poor Theor Slytherin showed it to me when I first arrived. It's sensitive to light. If you if you're really better at the wand lighting charm than me, escaping should be no problem. Why has Merla gotta be here? Merla, you locked us in here. Along with sending you a fake letter from Snape, I told you things would only get worse for you gaming. Oh, I'm not even gonna get my points back. Oh, that's rough. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Oh, it's gonna grab me. Oh no. <laughs> Let me try to fight it. Ah! Mr. J! We have to get out of here. Merlo is right about Devil's Snare being sensitive to light. Use Lumos to hold it off while I try to open the door and call for help. Help! We're trapped in here with Devil's Snare. Someone help! Okay, let's see. Click this. Escape the Devil's Snare. I got eight hours to do so. <clears throat> Five stars to pass. Fend off. Lumos. It worked. Oh no, there are so many of them. Oh yeah, and this is where we're going to run out of time. Trace the figure. Lumos. I gotta get out of here. Help, someone help, please. While we wait a couple seconds, why don't you guys go hit the subscribe button. It only takes about two seconds and it really does help me out. Thanks guys. Alright guys, we are back. Okay, let's see if I can burn through some of this energy right now to get away from these vines. Alright, target vines. Okay. Lumos. Oh, Lumos. Come on. Keep it up, Mr. J. I think I heard someone. 
success. There we go. Oh, it gives you 20, 20 gold for each of those stars. Sweet. That's like 100 gold. Brilliant. Okay, so I unlocked, looks like watcher gloves, uniform, some hair. Sweet. What's going on in there? Out of the way. Let's go. <gasps> Hagrid! <laughs> Gulping gargoyles, Gryffindor. Get away from that devil snare. You're scaring it. I'm scaring it. Let's get you out of here. You saved my life. Thank you, mister. Rubius Hagrid, at your service. I'm keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mr. J Gaming. Ah, you're the one everybody's been t talking about. Maybe trouble really does run in the family. How you end up in there, Mr. J? Our first year Slytherin named Merla Snide locked us inside. She did? What are you going to do? Tell Dumbledore? Tell my classmates? Or get revenge? Hmm. I'm going to tell Dumbledore. I'm going to tell Professor Dumbledore and make sure she's punished. Do you have any proof? Ho ho. I have a fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Professor Dumbledore wouldn't want... Would want... Uh, I can't talk. Professor Dumbledore would want to help you, but even he can't do anything if you don't have any proof. There we go. See, it's, it's Hagrid the way he talks. It's messing with me. I'd head back to your common room and take some time to think, Mr. J. I don't want you doing something you'll regret. Yeah, I might also want to do something about those robes. Devil Snare got you good. Oh yeah, it did tear me up a little bit, didn't it? Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully I'll see you again. You certainly will, Mr. J, but for now, you better go back to your common room. Collect slugs. Did Snape give, the... did Snape give you the house points back? Come back to the common room and let me know. <laughs> Report to Angelica. Okay. Bloody hell, what happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil Snare. Devil Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? It was a trick. Merle Snape faked the note and trapped me in a room with Devil Snare. What is it with you and this girl? I think she's threatened by me, and I think she hates that I'm the only first year who has stood up to her. And I take it you once again didn't have any proof? I have the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove that she's the one who wrote it. Well, you can't go around the castle dressed like that. Professor McGonagall will have a fit. People already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. Go and change into fresh robes. Or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. Okay. Why don't you put on a new outfit? Okay. Wardrobe. Okay. Oh, this is where I can spend my gold. Just look at all these real quick. Hmm. Interesting. 3,000 gold for a jacket. Oh, my. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to spend anything yet. So I'm just going to put that on. Uh, pants. Let me look at all the pants. Oh, they're shorts. Hmm. Looks like pajama pants up there. Hmm. Interesting. Those are expensive too. Oh yeah, I got to put it. Okay, I did. Uh, robes. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, that one looks kind of cool. I like the school robes, though. What is this? Like gloves or something? I don't... I don't get it. Um... Oh, a scarf. Is that like a necklace? Oh, interesting. <gasps> Ooh, I need to get that sometime. We got some others. Oh, that looks like the fang. Okay. That's interesting. So I'll just go normal for now. Um, ooh, I can get glasses. <laughs> the eye specs. <laughs> okay. I'll just go with regular for now. I don't want to spend anything. I don't even, I couldn't even buy these. And what was up with the hair? Oh, there's new hairstyles I could get. Okay. Eh, I, I don't no, that's too much like Malfoy. Okay. Paid for some of the items you're wearing. What am I wearing? That's not okay. Oh, I put the necklace on. Okay. I see. I have, okay. Yeah, let's get out of that. Apparently, I have other things on too. What else did I put on that I can't have? Hmm. Maybe it was the hair. Uh, except. Put on new clothes. Let's see how you look. Wow, that's much better. Now you don't look like someone who used to practice on this, on the severing charm. Oh, hold on. Wow, I'm really doing bad at speaking today. Now you don't look like someone who used... Who you too? Oh my god! Oh my god! Now you don't look like someone used. Now you don't look like someone used you to practice the severing charm. There we go. There we go, people. I can talk. I can read. Thanks, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Well, you better hurry to your first flying class before you're expelled. See if you can find a way to earn back those house points while you're there. Oh, so I have a I have a class now. You're going to fly on a broom. Try not to break your neck, and most importantly, don't lose any more house points. Okay. Ooh, what's out here? Stairs, the Whomping Willow, training grounds, Haggard's Hut, the Owlry, Care of Magical Creatures, Oh, you can see students flying. Oh, that one's failing over there like Neville. <laughs> okay, training grounds. A 10 flying class. Okay. So let's see if I can do this. Welcome to your first flying class. I'll be your instructor, Madam Hodge. You'll be, you'll begin by observing, before learning to summon your broom in the ne in your next flying class. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone, step up to the left side of your broom. I've been dreading this class all summer. Oh, poor Ben, he always looks so afraid. You're afraid of heights? Falling from heights mostly. I told you I come from a Muggle family. The idea of flying through the skies on a broom is terrifying. Believe it or not, I've never flown a broom either. My mom was pretty strict about using magic outside of school. I don't think I can do this, Mr. J. Of course you can do it, Ben. 
You can do it, Ben. Just concentrate on the broom and try not to think about falling. Do you promise to catch me if I fall? I promise to try my best. <laughs> That's not very reassuring, but I suppose I have to try sooner or later. Even you don't have anything to fear from today's lessons, Mr. Cooper. You'll be, you will only be observing today. Okay, let's see. Unlock summoning broom lesson. Earn one star from flying class to unlock this lesson. Takes one star. Okay, start. I have one hour to do this. Demonstration. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to demonstrate proper boomstick techniques. Discuss hair. Oh, she's really killing it over there. Long hair only increases the chances of you falling to your death. Oh. Wonder. You'd think Marilla would care more about her safety than bragging. <laughs> Discuss sunlight. Don't look directly at the sun while you're flying. You will surely fall off to your death. It's always about death. That's terrifying. Discuss balance. Do not lean too far to one side or you'll surely fall to your death. Wow. I, I guess I might just fall to my death or something. Ask a question. I can assure you that none of these brooms have been jinxed. Well, that's good. Master basics. You must master the basics of flying if you want a place on the team. Reflect. Splinter's great. Whoa, why'd it go so fast? Okay, choose your reward. Mm. I don't want gold this time. I forget what these are, but I'm going to pick the book. You'll luckily take a painful tumble if you lose focus for even a second. Pay attention to me. Okay, I'll focus. Okay, this is the tap in the circle. Ooh, I got it. Brilliant. Listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to explain several important bits of information to you. Discuss hair. Long hair only increases the chance of falling to your death. Yeah, I know that. Watch. Madam Hotch is the Quidditch referee. Listen to Rowan. These poor brooms. This wood is nothing like the quality you get at Kahana Farms. I hope I pronounced that right. This is going to be unbelievably fun. Discuss. Join the Quidditch team. You can hardly mount your broom. <laughs> Splinters greatly increase. Wow, again. Again, it got me. I'm going to do the heart this time. Five points. Now let's see if you've been paying attention. Who can answer this question? Catching what object ends a Quidditch match? Well, that'd be the Golden Snitch. Yay, I got it right. Brilliant. Ten points. It's awesome. Unlock some room lesson. Okay, one star earned from flying class. Unlock this lesson. Yes, please. I suppose I don't have to worry about falling if I never actually fly. Thank you for helping me, Mr. J. I may be able to fly soon if I keep following your lead. I think you've chosen a fine tutor, Mr. Cooper. Mr. Gaming, you appear to have a knack. Whoa, I think that's his knack. Hmm, 
for helping our classmate overcome their fears. Well, I'm like, I just came back from workout and I am super lightheaded, so I think that's affecting my reading, honestly. Or, or I just have a reading level of a third grader. One of the two. Ten points to Gryffindor. Alright, I got my points back. You just need to get used to the idea of flying, Ben. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying that we can borrow. I do like reading books. Hardly anyone ever falls to their death while reading books. <laughs> that is true. I've been meaning to talk to Rowan anyway. We've had a rough go of it so far. And I think he takes it harder than me. You should ask him to play gob gobstones. I'd play myself, but I'm afraid of getting sprayed. Again, I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, 10 flying class. Awesome. Meet with Rowan. You want to play gobstones? I love that game. Meet me in the clock tower courtyard. Courtyard. Meet with Rowan. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the courtyard. Hey Rowan, let me just check out first what's going on. Okay, so it's just a courtyard. Nothing else. All right. I won't put my robes back on. I like how they look. Thanks for inviting me, Rowan. After everything Merla and Snape, about after everything with Merla and Snape, I could use a break. Hogwarts shouldn't be about bullies and barely escaping death, it should be about learning magic and having fun. Wait until you play gobstones. I play it on the farm all the time. Again, if I am pronouncing that wrong, let me know. If I pronounce anything wrong, let me know. Um, just go ahead, leave a comment, and tell me I'm stupid and I need to pronounce something different. I will not take offense. Mostly because I'm not strong enough to help with the actual farming. It'll be fun to play with another person for once. Thanks for helping me adjust to things here, by the way. Of course, it's nice having a friend who understands me and can help explain everything about Hogwarts. I wish I could explain why Merla is such a bully. I've been researching her family to try to understand why she acts the way she does. Let's just relax, and you can tell me about tell me what you found out about Merla while we play. Brilliant. Gobstones is the finest skill testing manual dexterity game in the world. It's a bit like Muggle game. It's a bit like the Muggle game Marbles, except that every time a point is scored, the loser gets sprayed in the face. Sprayed in the face? Sprayed with what? No one knows, but it smells awful. Well, that sounds horrible. Okay. If you do well with this interaction, you'll strengthen your friendship with this person and be able to go on more adventures together. That'd be nice. High tribute levels will improve your chances of success. Let's start at 10 gold. Hogwarts is more frightening than I thought it would be. Don't worry, Rowan. Everything will be okay. Okay. Good luck, Mr. J. The only time I ever lose at Gobstones is when I get distracted. Every interaction has a different goal. In this one, impress Rowan by winning at Gab Stops. Let's play, Mr. J. The best way to beat Rowan is by distracting him. I'd better concentrate. What are your favorite books? Did you hear something? Oh, I'm going to ask him about books because I know that he loves to read. And that's really going to distract him. Okay, I picked the best answer, it looks like. <laughs> I distracted him. You got a bonus points for your high knowledge level. Okay. Good play, Mr. J. I could have countered if I wasn't so distracted. Thanks, Rowan. I think I'm starting to understand gobstones. How do you like gobstones? Shh. I'm trying to focus. I think it's distracting. Let's talk about wand wood. Hmm. Well, I don't want to say, you know, hey, I'm trying to focus, because then that could come off in the wrong way. Uh, I think it's distracting. That kind of seems a little rude, I would think. Um, 
The more distracting a choice is, the more you'll fill your diamond meter. Let's talk about Wandwood. I bet he has a lot to talk about that. All right, I picked the best one again. Success. Okay, you're doing well, Mr. J. I never win if I keep getting distracted. Looks like my strategy is working. Four turns left. Let's join the Gobs Gobstones Club. Let's discuss study habits. Let's bunk off school. Let's get distracted instead. Study habits. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, no. I failed. Oh, no. Okay, let's try again. I can't believe you might win. Snape is a vampire. <laughs> the library burned down. What is that supposed to mean? I might get him with the library. Oh, yes. I got the good one again. Well, I bet he's freaking out. You beat me, Mr. J. Pretty impressive for your first time playing Gobstones. Success! I get to collect this. Ooh, level 2 with Rowan. Friendship level 2. You improved your friendship. You can take this person on some future adventures. Collect my 5 gems. Good game, Mr. J. Some people think Gobstones isn't cool, but I've always considered it to be the thinking wizard's quidditch. Thanks for playing. I've never been especially good at making friends. We became friends pretty quick. Most people think I'm either useless, weaking... People... Most people think I'm either a useless, weakling, or an awkward nerd. But you're like... But you're weird like me. Wow, I can't talk. I am sorry, guys. This is awful. It's a rough time. I am so lightheaded. No offense. I take it as a compliment. Isn't this precious? Hello, gaming. You're unfortunately looking well after wrestling with the Devil's Snare. While you were playing with plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Why don't you just leave me alone? Yeah, could you please? Because you're a danger to Hogwarts, just like him, and none of us will be safe until you're gone. She's so evil. Look, I know her eyes are pink, but those are pretty close to red. She's evil. What are you talking about, Marilla? Gaming's brother didn't just get expelled for endangering the entire school in search of some imaginary vaults. He immediately went missing, and the next time he was seen, he was working for Voldemort. <gasps> What? You can't say his name. You have to call him he who must not be named. I say what I want. Well, you, you're you mean. I, I bet you. I bet you she's going to be the one working for him. You're lying about my brother and have anything to do with... Having anything to do with he who must not be named. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're probably wondering if you work for the Dark Lord, too. Expose her secrets, ignore her, or reason with her. I'm tired of her. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to cut deep. I'm going to expose her secrets. I know it's not the nice thing to do, but she's getting on my nerves. I don't know why you'd ever bring up he who must not be named, given your family's history. Oh... <gasps> Burn. Oh, yeah. You don't know anything about me. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Rowan's research, I know that your parents are locked up in Azkaban for being loyal to him who must not be named in the Wizarding War. I finally understand why you're always so angry. Why don't you just drop out of Hogwarts? Say Gryffindor. Save Gryffindor and your little friend here the embarrassment of being associated with you. You're just afraid that I'll be better than you. Afraid? I'll duel you right now. <laughs> so I can't walk away. And I can cast a spell. But if I'm correct, I only know one spell. <laughs> I'm gonna duel her with Lumos. Oh, great. 
Yeah, let me just make this light appear. That'll show her. Oh, yeah. Terrifying. Lumos! Oh, don't laugh at me. Oh, no. What do you got? Pathetic. Flipendo. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, that hurt. Learn a few more spells, gaming. Maybe next time you'll put up a fight. Where did she learn that? Merla is never going to leave us alone. Not unless I learn more spells and find someone who can teach me how to duel. Stronger friendships means a friend can help you on more adventures. Who are these people? Okay, I know Ben. Penny Haywood. Bill Weasley. Nymphadora Tonks. Tulip Caruso. Caruso. Hopefully, it's one of those. Or Barnaby Lee. Can't wait to meet Bill and Tonks. But okay, level three reward, five gems. Okay, okay. You finish your lessons to begin the next chapter. Summon broom, ready to go. Training grounds, summon broom. Okay, I got three hours to do this. Get rewards by earning stars. Broom care and maintenance. Welcome back to flying class. After observing for your first lesson, I will now teach you how to summon your broom. Before you can summon your broom, however, you need to learn how to maintain it to your broom care stations. Okay, okay. Trim ends. Oh yeah, I am bowed out. Hey, let's go off that. Discuss. I'm going to fly up to the top of a tall tree and read books all afternoon. <laughs> You're starting to sweat, gaming. Well, that's because I don't have enough... Oh no! Okay, looks like I gotta wait. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna do another jump here, and hopefully in a while or something, when I get enough um, energy to complete this, I will be back with Okay guys, and we are back now. I got 20 uh, energy, so hopefully I can finish this off. Um, if not, that would kind of suck. I want to ride my broom, or I want my ride to be nice and smooth. Trim ends. That looks much better. Care for broom. I have the best broom in the class. Polish. I should get my broom. Oh, it went too fast. Click my reward. Oh. <laughs> with the heart a nice coat of polish will make a big improvement apply polish oh brilliant that was a cool swipe well, I'm polishing my broom awesome 10 points Prepare to summon broom. It's time to practice summoning your broom. Set up, hold out your right hand, and say, up. Tune rowing out. Up, 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 broom, up. Up, I say. <laughs> okay, discuss care. Ooh, I'm running out of energy again. Take care with your brooms. I expect them to be right here after you take flight. 
keep trying. That might be it. Every time I think I've got it, I haven't. Ooh. I better pay attention if I want to survive the year without a, bro without a broken broom. Yeah, so I'm out again. Um, I will be back. Maybe if I reason with the broom, it would be more cooperative. Okay, so now I'm out. I'm officially out. Man, that was close, too. Well, hopefully we can get this done pretty quick. I might. No, I don't even have enough to buy it. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, here we are. We're back now. So, take notice. I did it. Did you see? You didn't see. Did you at least believe me? Stay focused on your broom. There we go. Two stars. Courage. I'm going to go with courage. Oh, that makes sense. Since it's up, it's just a straight line up. Okay. Summon your broom. Okay, success. Awesome. Collect. Alright, that is chapter three, done and complete in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Um, so, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and you come back for Chapter 4. See you guys.